the reason that I want to use Boyson Reed's material right here, and these come with uh, two, these replacement comes with a, uh, a bottom reed and this is the top. I'm only going to use the top. I have to take this reed right here and make it fit on my reed cage. Or, in other words, when I bought this Boyson reed, it looked like this. And I had to make it fit on this cage, as you can see. Well, right. The trick is, and I guess this would be a good, good learning lesson, you can see where the reed is off center, it's not sitting right. The reed must cover and seal everything from this little area here to up here to along the edge to along the bottom it has to do it and it has to seal it correctly the reason that I use Boyson reeds is this this reed right here I'll show you a side view of it when it opens and closes okay it just opens a tiny bit but as you idle it opens and closes every time the engine fires. Now, um, I can't explain the strokes to you because I'm I'm old, I'm tired, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, for, for the engine to work correctly, the reed, basically the reed material here, has got to open and close crisply at idle and it has to do it at top speed or top RPM which let's just say that uh, the top RPM on this is 10,000 uh, because that is either how high the power bandle will go or the length of the reed valve um, its flutter capacity now when I talk about flutter capacity what I mean is if this were the perfect material and the perfect valve this would open and shut thousands of times either a minute or per revolution or RPM or whatever and it would open and shut every time perfectly what we have with the carbon fiber which is their cheap Chinese bullshit it, it, this is carbon fiber it's crap but what we have is that when the reed is being reed valve is being opened at top speed okay the the reed valve opens and closes it has to open and close faster and faster and faster the faster the RPM is because the engine is going that fast what happens with the reed is the what is a system called reed flutter and when that happens is that the reed can only bend so much um, due to its consistency, its makeup, whatever it's made of. Once it reaches that reed flutter stage, it stays open a little bit longer or closed a little bit longer and it cannot keep in the exact performance beat of the engine. And that's where you get either too much fuel into the cylinder or not enough, but the end result is the engine stops revving. And you can't tell where it is or where it isn't unless you have a machine hooked up to it. But the, if you, if we can modify the CT reed cage, which is the basic for um, all these little motors like I have, if you can modify the cage, make everything here flat, make this reed material which Boyson is is made for uh, known for if we can make this fit perfectly open and shut perfectly it will perform better than stock which should give you I don't know a thousand or fifteen hundred more RPM at top speed and since I can't go to Boyson and say, listen, do you have something that'll fit this CT Reed system right here? I have to basically get a CR125 Reed and I modify it.
I will um, get it to be perfectly like this small one right here. And when I do that, then I will put on, I can either use these custom stays right here, it doesn't fall on me, and it says my battery's going, going bad, or I can use the stock ones that came with it. It says my battery's going bad. This, this camera's going old, so I'm going to post this. Anyway, I hope that um, that helps you a little bit with reads. And we continue.